today we're going to do another bulk makeover or restoration or spa salon or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just trying to do as many of my dolls as I can while I have like the, you know, like the energy or the want to, you know how that is. Sometimes you just get bursts of energy and you just want to do a couple of things. And so um, I already did one bulk one and I'm not quite finished with that. So I started filming this one because I still felt like doing it. Um, this little dress I'm going to clean and this little bookmark just because it was in with my dolls. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I bought that. And this little Kelly, I think this is a Kelly, because um, her hair was so matted and I did want to keep her to make her into something for maybe like the Wizard of Oz. So I'm going to do her. She's just been waiting. You know, none of these need anything extensive. That's why I picked them. None of them need like anything. None of them need a boil wash. This, I just, I love this little Belle doll and I know I want to keep her and she's little. So I figured she'd be easy to do. Um, this one, I'm going to have a tutorial later, her cracked knee, but just for right now, I'm just going to give her a little, you know, like fixing and whatnot. Now this Bratz girl, her face want it to focus where you can see just how dirty yeah there you go like her face is dirty sometimes it's really hard to tell but her face is thick so I wanted to clean her up pretty little brats girl give her a cute outfit and whatnot and this girl too she um <clears throat> you know she doesn't need anything special there's nothing really that wrong with her she just needs like you know the regular clean and everything so I'm going to work on these guys. This will be my bulk makeover number two. And I'm going to clean them and do all that stuff off camera because it's just faster and easier. And most people already know how to do all that. I use the same things. I use baking soda and a toothbrush. And for me, I always use Ajax. Some people use different things. I just use Ajax because that's what I use on my dishes. So, you know, same thing. But, um... I'm going to clean them, and then I'm going to come back in and let you see what they look like all clean. So hang on for that. Here are my girls. They're all clean. They're just waiting to dry. I put these two little ones in this littler cup because their hair was long, and they could sit down, but if they sat, then, like, you know, the hair would get crunched. So I put them in there. Just them. And then this girl, I put her in a cup all by herself. Um... She's all done. I like the way her hair looks. It's so pretty. You can see. I think it's going to be shiny. Interested to see what it'll look like when it's dry. So there's her with her little smoky eye makeup and pretty face. And then the last is these three. The Bratz girl. I don't know how well you can see her face. But it turned out really good. It's pretty clean. I'm trying to get the... There we go. The only thing she still has is this little mark on her nose. And that was hiding under the grime. There we go. Now she's in focus. It was hiding under the grime, so I didn't know it was there. And I did use my uh, magic eraser on it and faded it, but I'm probably going to have to use, like, some... Oh, what is it? Uh, you know, the benzoyl peroxide stuff. So I'll probably have to do that. And her hair, I'm a little sad that I, I couldn't tell. It's been, it looks like it's been cut or just pulled or something because there's like this weird extra layer here and the ends are pretty bad. So I don't know how that's going to turn out once it dries, but we'll see. This girl, she just needed a general clean. I think she's going to look good. And the same with this girl here. Neither of them needed much of anything, no oil washing or anything. So they're all clean and that's them for now. And I'm going to wait for them to dry and let y'all see that. Here's all the clothes that I cleaned from the second batch and the first batch is still drying and I didn't have as much. So I put the second batch, the little Hello Kitty, she came out nice and clean. The only thing that was kind of, I guess, bad or whatever you want to say is some of the green came off of this when I was washing it, but it's, I know it's old and I don't really care. It doesn't bother me because I've never seen that Belle doll before, that little tiny one. And, you know, I'm just going to keep her. So it's just for me and I don't really mind that it kind of faded. I just, I'm glad that it's clean now though. But everything came out nice and clean. Um, this is just a little trick I do. I don't know if anybody else does this, but when jackets, when I dry jackets, because 
half the time they don't want to come together on the doll in the front or whatever, or they'll dry funny. I, I turn them upside down so that way when they dry, they dry with like the front more closed and then the collar the more the way it needs to be instead of just all sticking out. Um, so that's the clothes and the dolls are still drying and once they're dry and I get them all dressed again, I will let you see. All right, my lovelies, it's time for the reveal, finally, for these poor girls. I've had them close to complete from their makeovers for a while now, but I had all that other Valentine's stuff and things happen, and I did the other makeover videos, so it took me a minute to get these ones finished completely because I had two that I wasn't completely um, done with that I needed to go back and I mean, I'll just explain that as I'm going, but I just wanted you to know why it took so long, so. First I have the little Bell doll. She's all fixed now. She's so adorable, and she came up really, really clean. Super pretty. I love her, and I've never seen any dolls like this before, like ever, to be honest. I mean, you know. I'm assuming she did something because of that weird thing, but I don't know what, and I really don't care. She's just adorable to me. And like I said in the other clip, her little, this part, a little bit of the green came off, but like I said, I'm not mad at it because I've never seen these, and it's super cute. And she came up really, really clean. You know, she's clean all over, nice and clean, got a scrub, just like all the rest of the big, regular size dolls. I'm really happy with her. She's so cute. I'm really not into the smaller dolls that much, but her, I just, I couldn't resist. She was so adorable. And then, for small dolls, I kept this cute little, I'm, I think it's Kelly. I think these ones are Kelly. Because there's Kelly, the whole Kelly Shelly thing, and I, I don't know. Because I don't really collect these ones usually, but, um, Here's her little darling. She's so cute to me now. Look at her hair. It's so pretty and long. It was such a matted mess before and now it's all like silky and soft and just beautiful and not matted at all. And I tried to keep all of the length. I did trim some of the fuzzy fuzzy ends but I mean maybe like that much if that. Now, um, I styled her hair like this because I thought it was cute. And um, I had this little top on a different um, little doll that I took to McKay's and they wouldn't take her. I guess they don't take the smallest ones. I don't know. So I had this little top. But this little skirt I made. I made this little skirt for her. This little double layer denim skirt because I thought it was adorable. It's so cute. So I might not make her into anything else other than this, but I just, she's so cute to me like this. I just absolutely love her. And out of my shoe stock, I actually had some shoes that would fit her. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I kind of knew that I did because I had gotten a big bag a while back of um, shoes and whatnot, like accessories before I had a channel um, that my mom had sent me that I went through and there was a few pairs of the little shoes like this. There's like a little jelly pair like um jelly sandals but I just thought these little white tennies looked so cute with the little denim skirt and the little blue um you know top and everything like she did have her hair up before but it wasn't like this I just liked it like this I thought it was cute and she's so little and cute I just uh like I said I'm not really as into these I don't really collect them I have absolutely none except for this one and the one they wouldn't take at McKay's and I was gonna redonate the other one but there's little her. She's so little. She's so cute, though. Adorable. I'm trying to get... There, that's better. Like, it seems so dark over here, the way they were lit. I think that's, that's better. I have an extra light that I put on sometimes for y'all that you saw. Um, it's not always the same light. Like I said, we've been going through stuff, so I just grabbed one that didn't have a shade on it. I was like, I'll use this one right now. Oh yeah, I forgot I did this. It came out really, really clean. I'm super happy. I can't wait to use it when I'm reading my books. Um, 
it was just really adorable and I was glad that I got it you know in one of those like rando bags where they let you just stuff whatever you want in for two bucks so there's that little hello kitty all nice and clean now onto the dolls the like bigger dolls I guess this girl I don't know what it was but I really just kind of liked this outfit on her I know it's plain but she's kind of simple and she had these shoes on and they fit her perfectly so I just kept them on her because she has those weird hard to fit feet and as you can see she's a little bent there you go you can see like how well it instance I do and I just thought she looked so super cute like this she's the one that's like my favorite articulation like the one like before they did the made to move and she has a little crack in her knee now I did put the I did not put the pants on her to cover that like because I know I'm gonna fix it eventually I just thought like her style like just look at her like she just looks like kind of a like you know edgy style rocker chick and her hair came out absolutely gorgeous and I was hoping it would it was super shiny and like I did have to trim a little and it was fuzzy on the ends and everything and it wasn't the best but you know I think she looks great now and I love that the lipstick kind of matches like the purpley and the with the jacket and the pants and everything now these are boots that are like this high and I had several pairs of boots but these looked the best to me with these pants and this, I know this is funny, but this is like just a mesh top that went with something else completely. And I knew since her like breasts would be covered by the jacket that I could put this underneath and it would look kind of edgy and cute, but you still wouldn't be able to see her, you know, doll nudity. I don't, I don't want their boobs to be out. That's not, that's not the kind of collector I am, but I think she looks really, really cute like this. And I was thinking of making like, like a little bandeau top or like a little bra top or something for under there, but I just... I haven't got around to it yet but for now this is definitely how she's gonna stay I like her style like this I like this funny little like I know I know what doll this jacket goes with I got it in a lot a while back and um, 
I've seen pictures of it and it was on a fancy Nikki doll like this and I think I have actually the skirt that goes with this the original outfit but anyway that's not like important important but like you know how us collectors we just get random bags of clothing and pieces and sometimes I do my best to like take those pieces and make like an outfit and I just think this is weird but it works if that makes any kind of sense like I love how it looks on her and I know it's all kind of mismatchy and didn't go together but for me I love it truly love it like I love the fit the fit fits her so well like it's like it was made for her so there's her pretty articulated lady she's kind of like invading your space there you go <laughs> I'll show her next. I was really kind of like happy with her in a weird kind of way. And I'll explain. Because um, she was one of the only ones that wasn't dressed. You know, in this makeover. And she, I just couldn't find an outfit that I liked on her. So I, you know, gave it a rest. And then like Valentine's Day happened and all that stuff. And I got all those things. So she ended up in partially some of the like fashions that I got. So I don't know why I was trying to pre-explain that, but I did. So here's her and I just think she's so cute like this. Um, I did steal, but not steal it because they're mine. These off of um, one of the newer dolls that I got. <laughs> Sorry about the shadow. That's my baby girl. That's my Charlotte. <laughs> when I'm filming, I leave the door open because I want them to know my dogs. I want them to know where I am so they don't worry. And sometimes they'll come in and lay, you know, on the couch by me and stuff. After I've been in here for a while, they're like, Mommy's not coming back, so we gotta go investigate her. <laughs> my sweet babies. But anyway, I really do have a hard time with the flat-footed girls, like, fitting them and finding shoes for them, but I thought these looked really cute on her, um, for now, even though I know they go with my other doll that I just got, and now she's shoeless, but, you know, this is the real struggle, people, of not having flat-footed shoes readily available to us, you know, as collectors, and only having, like, a few styles, They're not my favorite, but anyway, I loved the way this weird little, like, homemade skirt looked with this cute little perfect cat top and I also I took the bracelet off of that doll too because I thought it looked cute on her and I put the little cat ears on her because um I've decided to call her Katrina cat for short and I thought that was really really cute you know she's gonna be my cat girl so this is cat or Katrina um and I'm probably gonna keep her like this um, I might switch out her outfit for other, like, cat-related things because I think that's hilarious and cute. But just something about her, like, when I put this on, I was like, yes, she's my cat girl. And then I was like, oh, that's cute. And I had forgotten how much I liked naming my dolls and giving them, like, personalities and whatever and making them more mine. But it's been a long time for me. If, if you guys are new, I've had all my dolls locked up in storage for a really long time and what dolls I did have were only like what I could grab from thrift stores and whatnot. And I lived really far out in the middle of nowhere. So there wasn't that much, you know, for me to get. So anyway, but I'm going to start naming my dolls and I might ask for suggestions sometimes, but like for now, this is Katrina or Kat for short, because I just think it's adorable. And I love how she looks in this. Her hair came out really, really good, really shiny and soft. And like I said, I didn't, Sometimes I just like their natural, like, wave or whatever's going on with their hair, and I don't want to boil wash it so it's pinned straight. So, you know, because I like them to have more of a personality, and I like them to keep some of their personality that they had, you know, when they were in box dolls before they were mine. So here's Kat. Love her. Can't wait to um, start name of my dolls again like I said I had forgotten how much I loved doing that and I think what I'm going to do um, I'm going to start posting a little more on Instagram so if you guys want to follow me there I don't post that much but I do have pictures there and I do have different pictures some 
than what I've shown, you know, on my channel. So if you want to go check that out, it is just Crystal and Customs, just like my name here. Not, not with the Christy B part. You know, I am Christy, but Crystal and Customs came along because um, that was like a nickname I had when I was little, and you know, my love of dolls came when I was a child. So I just thought that that was cute. So that's where the name comes from. It's like from me part of me it's part of my childhood and it's part of me now so that's how the name came about but anyway I think I am going to um, start posting more pictures and I'm gonna like put her that I've named her cat and everything so if you guys are interested in that you can follow me on Instagram but you know it's not required it's just for fun for us dolly collectors and another way we can connect and like share so that's that but I do have one more girl and I did save her for last on purpose. It's the Bratz girl because I kind of, you know, made her special. And you'll see what I mean in a second here. Because I made her a custom outfit. Now, I'm not done with it. There are things I want to do and add. But, you know, this is how it's going to look for now until I can get those things. Because I don't have those things or I would have done it already. So, here's my Bratz girl. Isn't she adorable? Like, I just... I love her like this. Now she had these little funny ice cream shoes and that's where I got the inspiration because I know these are not her original shoes. And I thought to myself, well, I'm just going to make her like an ice cream dream. So I got this in one of my blind bags and I thought, oh, that's perfect. And I also got this and I know it's for Barbie and it has stretched out being on her head, but I really don't care because um, I think it's cute and it goes with her. And I've was able to get almost all of the staining off of her except for that one little dot and I didn't use the oxy I used um oh you know like a Mr. Clean sponge for the most part you know I scrubbed along her nose so it's a lot cleaner than it was I'm happy with it for now until like the sun decides to like come out and let us do those kind of things where I can take care of that for good but this little outfit I just isn't it adorable? Like, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but I just, she looks so cute to me. And what I want to do is, this was all made out of, like, lace. And it was all hand-stitched, and it's so easy to make outfits for little brats to me. I just, oh, it's so cute. I love how cute and kawaii it is. But what I wanted to do is I want to add some, like, you know, like, treats and candies and whatever, some cute things to her, the skirt part and you know maybe here I don't know and I want to do something with this but I'm not sure yet I think I might want to like put some cute little charms on this and you know I want to do something else like extra with the bow back here in the little bustle but for now this is how she's gonna look and I'm super happy with her she's so adorable I just love her I hope you guys think she's cute too because I know there's a lot of you know really really intense brat collectors out there and I do really like some of the brats I think they're gorgeous like this one's eye makeup is beautiful to me like she's not my favorite one I've ever seen but when I saw her in the store I was like yes for 99 cents she is mine or however much I paid for her usually I don't pay more than a dollar but I just thought she was super cute I hope you guys think she's cute too because I really did work hard on her like it was easy but hard you know I like had to sew everything and then I had to make sure that um, it was gonna hold and that it was gonna look right and you know because she's a brats and and their body styles are different and so you can't always like even though I have some brat clothes like none of it was anything sorry I can't get her situated <laughs> none of it was anything that like would look cute on her like how I wanted there we go that's better but now you can't really see her so now I have to turn my camera a little there now that's better she's super cute to me I just love her um I'm not gonna go on anymore I'm not gonna gush anymore these dolls have waited so long to be revealed and I'm so glad I finally got around to it for you all um I really hope you like them I'm gonna do a lot more like bulk um makeovers in the future like in the next month or so because I'm really trying to get my dolls like organized and at least clean where I can like put them somewhere and get them out of the boxes you know and get my stuff together because it's really starting to frustrate me not having my things the way I want them so hope you enjoyed it my lovelies all of my lovely lovelies out there take care of yourselves 
Hope you're having a great Dolly Day. I will definitely see you soon because I have more things planned. I have, you know, like another fashion show of stuff and an unboxing to at least film. And I think there's one more thing. I can't remember it right now, you know, but in time, we'll get there. Bye guys. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.